friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? I'm here with a little uh, Happy Mail share and a little purchase I made from Etsy. So I have to thank Harmony, my friend Harmony. Uh, she's a subby on YouTube and I know she uh, comments on my videos and when me and Maria do a live, she uh, is there a lot of times and most of the time. So Thank you so much, Harmony. This was such a surprise. I saw, um, you know, Maria's happy mail from you, and they were such such cute things, and so she sent me some too. And so this is so awesome because I get to I'll get to journal about this on my in my December daily, day number 10. So thank you so much. So what I got, I took it out of the envelope already, just so I can make sure, you know, I don't expose any addresses. But there's this card in here, and it had a matching envelope. Uh, you know that uh, you know it was a size, you know, a little bit bigger than the card. And this I cut out of the envelope to use in my December daily. And I, I cut it with some edging scissors, like little scalloped edging scissors. So I plan to use that as a little corner tuck in my December daily. Then I have this Christmas card, which is really cute, and she um, put a note in here so that I can, like a post-it, so I can take the note off and use a Christmas card, you know, however I want. And she included this little, little note as a cute little kitty cat post-it, so really cute. I love animals and cats and dogs and everything, so thank you for that, Harmony. But uh, those two things were in there. A little journal, which I'm going to open in a second, but so cute, right? <laughs> and then these, she sent me one of this little... Sand hat. Now, I saw Maria's. Maria got one too. And I thought it was uh, flat. I thought it was like a flat hat. And so now that I'm seeing it in person, this is actually not a flat hat. This is actually a three dimensional hat that could sit on, like maybe if you had a little doll or a little Santa or something. It actually has a little hole here. And, you know, it's actually three dimensional. It's not flat. So. <laughs> Uh, really cool uh, it's got the little you know the white trim and a little it's got a little pearl on the end here so uh, let me just show you up close because it is tiny I mean super tiny so so cute I got to figure out what I'm going to do with that but I'm going to do something special with that maybe in my December daily we'll see I'll have to think about that and then these cute little stickers let me take them out of the plastic so we can avoid some glare but these uh, stickers are super cute. Let's see. A whole sheet here. There's a sheet here. Like little reindeer. And there's a Santa here riding a reindeer. So really cute. All different sizes. Here's some more. Let's see if I can get these out. Yes. Okay. Super cute. And then we've got... They're all in plastic. Okay, so yeah, here we go. Two sheets of these. Christmas trees and Santas. Two of those. I'll put them all in the same. I have a little stack of Santa, uh, Christmas stickers over here that I'm using right now. So, and then these, let's see what these are. They look almost like the square ones, almost look like postage stamps. Really neat. And then you have this little piece here that could be a nice little trim piece right here and they look like kind of like old world Santas on here super cute okay so let's look at this little journal so adorable now when Maria opened hers uh, some of the comments underneath were like that could be a little ornament for a Christmas tree and that is that is true this would be a cute little Christmas tree ornament so it looks like to me like it was made out of a Christmas card it's got washi here to protect the spine and here's the back of the Christmas card so let's see if I can let's see if I can break into this little guy let's see I'm sure it, okay yeah I don't want to make it I don't want to mess anything up but I didn't want to uh, make it harder than it is either to get into it uh, okay that's just a little knot it's a little knot here that I can untie possibly <laughs> Let's see what's inside. Yeah, so she's got two holes with this ribbon. 
and the same ribbon is on the spine there. Okay, cute. I'm just gonna think I'll take uh, the front off for right now so we can open this up. And the same with, okay, there we go. And she's got it sewn in. Is it sewn? How is it in? Is it? I have to figure this out now. There's washi here, so I can't see the stitches. But really neat. Yeah, it's sewn in. I can see right here. She's got like a five pamphlet stitch on here or something. I see several. One, two, three, four, five. At least five holes coming out the spine, I think, from what I can see. Cute little cardstock tag that can be decorated in this pocket that looks maybe like wallpaper, not sure, or cardstock. Almost looks like wallpaper to me, but it could be cardstock. And there's a cute little one in the back here. Thank you so much, Harmony. This is adorable. A little piece of a, maybe a Christmas card that you could use as a, you could use that as a gift. That would make a cute little gift tag, wouldn't it? Or, um, you know, a journaling card or tag. And I can make it into a tag and punch a hole up there if I want, like this one. So super cute. And then we've got blank paper to write on. And there's a lot of pages in here. This could almost be like a little mini December daily. <laughs> and there's a basically a kind of like, here's like a gift card right here. But uh, basically like a blank journal. So I can do whatever I want in here. This is really cool. I love it. Here's some cardstock. This is cardstock in the middle. That's pretty. This is so neat because, you know, you can do whatever you want in here. And it's a blank, just blank pages for me to do whatever I want. I can write. I can make little tiny collages. I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to do with this. I want to do something, uh, you know, <laughs> I want to do something. I think little collage, like challenge myself to make little collages and practice my layer in layering in mini version. <laughs> that would be fun to do that, wouldn't it? So I'm going to count the pages and just kind of think about what I want to do with this. But thank you so much. That is so adorable. I love it. Love, love, love it. So that was from Harmony. And so let me show you what else I got. I got a little order. Here's a little Santa hat. Don't want to lose that. <laughs> I got an order from Etsy. And I don't order, you know, I don't order from Etsy very much. Uh, because, I don't know, I just don't for some reason. But I was just dying for some of these vintage labels and I've been looking around on eBay and on Etsy and I found these in uh, on Etsy in the vintage scrap shop so uh, they were just the cutest uh, little package of vintage uh, gift tags and they're the kind that like like this one has a you can see it has a little sticker I remember my mom having these little sticker in the middle I don't know if I ever had any but I know my mom did and then so they came they were in a plastic let's see okay they were in here this plastic was in the glassine bag to protect it cute little thank you and so love the glassine envelope I'll reuse that I reuse these too whenever I get a plastic or whatever this cell cellophane or whatever this is made out of um, envelope I or, or bag whatever I always save those and reuse them too but I want to show you these little tags. They're so cute. And there's a bunch in here. So let me just like flip through them real quick. And hopefully I'm going to hold them up like this. So I don't have to move my camera around. But just let me show you and flip through. So cute. And the colors are awesome on here. Just the little mouse. I mean, this is what I saw <laughs> in her Etsy shop. And she's got a bunch of little Christmas things like ephemera and little you know things that you can use in journals or whatever in crafting look at this one i have to find my i don't know i was thinking about maybe if i could find my favorite i can put it in my december daily i almost hate to use any of them though like for myself like i don't there's not you know a ton here so it's like I have to save them for my my journals that I sell. I'm not allowed to. <laughs> I'm not allowed to have one for myself. But maybe I will. We'll see. There's a string on this one. I mean, do you don't you love those colors? Oh, look at this one. Oh my goodness. This is uh, this is gorgeous. 
Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you. Vintage scrap shop. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, I, I mean, I was on the verge of ordering them from, you know, I had some on my watch list on uh, eBay, and I just didn't know what to do, and then I discovered these because they were, her prices are, are really good. Uh, I, you know, was going to order some from eBay, and then I found these, and I was, like, I was like, this is the perfect little amount that I need to finish out Christmas this year. And I probably have some left. Look at this one. This might be my favorite right here. Look at those colors and that little drummer boy right there. So cute. Oh my goodness. This is cute too. Look at this. I wonder what... None of these have any kind of copyright, so I actually could copy them. That's what I might do. I might copy them from my journal and save the rest for the journals I... You know, the originals for the journals I sell. That's a good idea. <laughs> And here's the last one, a little Santa Claus. So yeah, none of these have any kind of markings like Hallmark or copyright or anything. So I think I'm probably like, you know, okay to copy these. So I'm going to do that. I might scan them too. So awesome. Those are so neat. So let's see, we're only uh, at 11 minutes. So I thought maybe if uh, I can pull it off, <laughs> I can maybe do my December daily while we're here. So I have it right here, kind of don't know what I'm going to do, but I want to, uh, you know, do something with Harmony's Happy Mail. So this was uh, yesterday, and I want to show you it one more time. It was the way I left it on my video for yesterday, but I added this button. I kind of said I think it needs something right here, but I was going to wait. And it's like, it, this, always, this happened a couple times now. Right after the video, I'm like, a button, you know, it's obvious. I just didn't think of it when I was on camera. But when I got off, you know, off the video, I was like, a button has to go there. So I kind of picked one to match this. There's like red right around here. And so I kind of picked one to match that. So out of my vintage buttons. So I think it turned out really neat. So let's turn the page. And this is the back side of the cookie, you know, from the cookie cookbook, the Christmas cookies. And so we've got a recipe right here. So let's start with, let's see, where's that little corner pocket that I want to use? Here's the card. Here's the corner pocket. And I have my paper cutter here in case I want to use that. So I'm going to attach this right here on the edge, I think. And so let's go ahead and get some glue here. This is a little bit of a glossy, you know, not shiny, but kind of a, and not really glossy, but it's not flat, like a flat paper. It's kind of a glossy paper. So I'm going to use my glitter glue so I can make sure this sticks down good. So yeah, art glitter glue. I, want to, I always say glitter glue, but I know when I first heard that, I was like, glitter glue? I mean, there's glitter glue and there's glitter glue. So this is not really glitter, like glittery glue is art called art glitter glue not sure why it's called you know not sure why it has the word glitter in it though I've never never heard that but uh, it is you know I love it so let's put this down the little reindeer pocket that I already cut out also I pulled out these for my number for today I have some game pieces and I thought that would be fun for the number 10 for today. So I'm going to use this. Let me put it right here for a second. And see if I want to do anything with this card. I'm kind of itching. Let me put a Harmony's note somewhere. I want to maybe put this on this page. That would be cool. Just put it down. Let's see. I have to glue it right here. Merry Christmas, enjoy this reusable card, she said. And it has her name on it. So this is going to be all about harmonies. <laughs> all about your happy mail harmony. So thank you so much for saving me. I didn't know what I was going to do with day number 10. So there we go. And this can be a little flip up. I think I'll leave it loose. In case I, in case I come up with something I want to put under here. So that's cool. And I glued this down on... So this can be actually a double tuck. Let me put some more glue right here on the bottom. 
this can be a double tuck I can I can tuck something in the pocket and behind the pocket I need to let this dry for a minute okay now let's put our tin on here right here let's see now I might use uh I've never I don't know if I, I think I have used these like once before so I'm going to use art glitter glue on here I'm not I'm not art glitter glue fabric tack because I don't know I want it to dry fast and I want it to stick and these are kind of glossy too on the back so where are we going to put these let's put them wait let me see let me see where we're going to put these They'll fit right here, and I gotta watch out for my binding. So I'm gonna keep them over away from that fold. Yeah, that looks good right there. Or I could put them up here. Let's see, I don't want to cover up Harmony's name. So let's put it uh down near the bottom here, like I just had it. And I kind of want to want them to go like back and forth like that. I think that'll be cute. Okay, let's glue those down with some Fabri-Tac. Last time I bought Fabri-Tac, they didn't have the medium size bottle at Walmart. That's where I usually get it. And uh, they had the small and a large, <laughs> so I didn't want to pay the price for the large one, so I got the small one. But I'm trying to make it last I'm using my art glitter glue instead, pretty much. So... Let's see, if I want this to be a flip up, though, I can't, oh, I just thought of that. I can't put anything on top of it. I wonder, hmm, 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 I'm going to have to do this different. I could do it across the bottom here. Put a T, T, E, N, like that. That, that would be cool, right? Okay, let's do that, because I don't want to, I want this to be a flip up. Yep, that's what we're doing. <laughs> We're going for it. Okay, let's see. Well, I hope everybody had a great day. It's Tuesday. And I had a good day. Okay, so I want this to be a pocket, so I don't want to cover up that edge or go over the edge, because then I'll glue down my pocket. <laughs> Okay, got options here. This is the option page. So this has been really fun. This is my first year doing a December daily, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I was thinking about what I'm going to do in January. I had an idea. What was it? <laughs> I'll have to think about it again and remember what I thought of. I think it was today I thought of a good idea for January. Not a daily thing, but some other kind of journaling fun. And so when I think of it again, I'll have to write it down. So I remember what that idea was because it was pretty, I thought it was pretty good. Okay, so lid on glue. Now let's uh, see. I don't want to, I want to copy those uh, new little vintage gift tags that I got. So I don't want to uh, use any of those on this page. I might want to cut this up though and make a tag and I've got this inside too this would be a cute little journaling card right there um, I don't know if I'll be able to use all of this on that this page but let me uh, figure out something here because I'd like to write I think I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a, a few different little cards and journaling cards tags and bookmarks out of this card all of the above so I'm going to cut down the middle of the deer right here okay there's one and then I'm going to cut this in a different way let's make a let's see I think I can cut it let me cut the back from the front here and so I'll have this piece to use here. I've got a deer here. There's a deer here too. So I might have to, we'll see. I'll work on that for another page because I'm not going to be able to fit it on this page anyway. I kind of want to cut this up though and show you what I'm doing. 
uh, you know, all the different, just some, I, you know, if you're recycling Christmas cards. Okay, so this I basically can have, I don't have my, my corner rounder in here right now, but I'll probably round these corners. And then you can write on the back and have, you know, two more journaling cards right here. And this one, let's see, let me put one of, because I cut off the greedy, Season's Greet, it says. So let's put this little sticker down here. For the journaling, it's going to be a journaling card. So this will be cute right here. Like that. And I'll round the corners. And this too, round the corners. I'm going to put that down for right now because I, I don't have my corner rounder. I took it to work today, actually, and I crafted on my lunch break. I didn't video it. Because I was uh, just working on finishing putting pages in the last 2019 journal that I'm making. And I do I have a hole punch? Let me grab my crocodile. Handy dandy crocodile. And put the big hole right here. Okay. So I we'll have a bookmark slash tag that I could put in this pocket right here. That'll be cute. And then let me, I need to put some ribbon or something on here. Let me grab, I've got a pile of ribbon here. Well, actually ribbon and scraps like this right here. So let me, uh, I don't need it to be that long. Let me see if I can cut these with my regular scissors or otherwise I'll have to go and grab my fabric scissors. Ooh, it cut. Okay. I'm going to put this in here in the hole. And tie it around. See if it'll... See if it's long enough to tie. I think it is. I just... I just... I didn't want anything long. I just wanted a little... You know, something on here to decorate it, really. So, this is just a piece of scrap fabric from my Christmas fabrics. I have a pile over by my sewing machine so when I need something I can grab it. Cute, right? Extra strings coming off. Okay, so that'll be in here. I'm going to probably write something about Harmony on here in her Happy Mail. Let me fray it a little bit. I have a trash can right here beside me. Oops. Let me cut that one off. Okay, so I'm going to write about Harmony on here, and that'll be right here, and then I'll have this flip up for other options if I want to add something later, like one of those gift tags that I received that order today on December 10th, and then I, or I could put it right here after I make copies. I uh, would like to go ahead and write, you know what would be cool is one of these one of these, I've got these leftover tags here from my digital, pro, or, you know, design team project. I could put a little, I need a smaller one, a little tag here for the date. i got to watch my fold here so I know I don't want to go over that. But that could go there. Let's see, what else do I have? I need something under that. I want something under that. Let me look at my trims and my fabric. My scraps. Got quite a few here. Little pieces. Bits and pieces. So here's here's a few options. <laughs> Let's see. This could be cute right here. And then I'll put the little tag right here. And this page will be full. Okay. So, let me move this over so I can see my fold there. Okay, yeah, I think I'm just going to use this little scrap right here. With some art glitter glue. 
does it does work on fabric so just uh, I'm just trying not to put too much on here but enough to hold it down okay cool I'm gonna do it like this I got a little layering effect here. Okay, glue on the hands. <laughs> okay, now where'd my label go? Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm gonna write the date on here with my red glitter. Since this is red, let's match my red glitter pen. And I need a hard surface, so I'm gonna write over here to my side for a second. Move this up a bit. Okay, uh, so today is December 10th. So I'm going to write 12. I'm going to write uh, Tuesday. Let's see, first in a longer space here, I'm going to write 12, 10, 19, Tuesday. Cool. There we go. Just a little twos there, shortened to fit. And we've got our 10. And day number 10 will be done, I think. I'm just going to, I'll write off camera, off video. I'll write on that about harmony. So let's see, how do I want to do this? I think just straight on this one. Cute. So, okay. Uh, I wonder if I need some distressing on here. I've got my distressing. I think that would be pretty with some distressing on it. Let's do a little distressing. I should have distressed the pocket too before I put it down. I probably can still do it a little bit. Possibly. Yeah, I still got my separation there. Don't want to mess it up, but I think that looks cool. Doesn't that look better? Okay. Maybe a little bit over here too on the side. Awesome. <laughs> That looks better. Okay, and some on here. On this side. Let's do a little bit on the other side and then that might be it, we'll see. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, so there it is, distress. I, th I like it. I need a little bit more on the on this side right here. I think it needs a little bit. There we go. That 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 did the trick. Yeah, it needed that. There we go. Love it. And maybe just a little bit of to take off some of the shine. Just a little bit on the actual bookmark or tag. Yes, now it looks old. <laughs> Pretty, right? Do you love it? Okay, I love it. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to write on the back. And then I have my, you know, I can open this up. I can even peel this off if I want. I can put something underneath there. I can add more to uh, somewhere, like wherever. Right here, there's some space, maybe something. We'll see. But uh, I love it. Day number 10 is done. I got the date, the day, the number, everything I like to put, I've been putting on my pages. So uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.